Hi everyone. Space exploration is really interesting and also important for purpose of our existence. Curiosity brings several questions, which leads to basic nature of humans to explore things around. Today, we will go for space journey and our destination will be Carina Nebula. Before moving ahead, let me give you a glimpse of nebula. So what is a nebula? Interstellar clouds of gas and dust are known as nebulae. The remains of dying stars are the starting point for many nebulae. New stars are frequently born in nebulae as well. The term nebula today describes an interstellar cloud of gas and dust. Planetary nebulae, or the scattered debris from supernova explosions, are two common sources of nebula formation from the remains of dying stars. As a result of the abundance of dust and gas present in these areas, which serve as frequent sites of intense star formation, new stars are frequently born there. Nebulae are typically enormous, measuring several light years across. Previously, the term nebula applied to any celestial object that appeared to have a diffuse structure, including what we now refer to as galaxies. You can see the Carina Nebula visual in your screens. The Carina Nebula is a sizable, intricate region of bright and dark nebulosity in the constellation Carina, which is situated in the Milky Way galaxy's Carina Sagittarius arm. Approximately 8,500 light years separate Earth from the nebula. One of the largest diffuse nebulae visible in our skies is Carina Nebula. Due to its position in the southern sky, the Carina Nebula is much less well known despite being four times as big as and even brighter than the famous Orion Nebula. When the James Webb Space Telescope released its first official science images, the Carina Nebula was one of five celestial objects it had chosen to observe. Recently, the Carina Nebula's glittering landscape of star birth was revealed by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The Carina Nebula is now illuminated revealing previously hidden stellar nurseries and individual stars. It is challenging to observe objects during the earliest, fastest stages of star formation, but Webb's exceptional sensitivity, spatial resolution, and imaging capability can record these elusive events. The edge of the nearby, young star-forming region NGC 3324 in the Carina Nebula can be seen in this scene of mountains and valleys, which is dotted with sparkling stars. This image, which was taken by NASA's brand new James Webb Space Telescope in infrared light, for the first time, makes visible previously hidden areas of star birth. The nebula's wall is being slowly sculpted by the blistering ultraviolet radiation from the young stars. Dramatic pillars rise majestically above the glowing gas wall and block this radiation. Actually, hot, ionized gas and hot dust are streaming away from the nebula as a result of the relentless radiation, giving the appearance of steam rising from the celestial mountains. Pictures taken in visible light completely conceal individual stars and developing stellar nurseries, but Webb reveals them. Webb sees through cosmic dust to these objects because of its sensitivity to infrared light. Some of these young stars shoot protostellar jets, which are clearly visible in this image, into space. In the pitch black, dusty region of the cloud, the newest sources are visible as red dots. It is challenging to observe objects during the earliest, fastest stages of star formation, but Webb's exceptional sensitivity, spatial resolution, and imaging capability can record these elusive events. The effects of star formation on the development of enormous clouds of gas and dust will also be made clear by Webb. While the impact of massive stars which have violent winds and high energies, is frequently noticeable, less is known about the impact of low-mass stars, which are more prevalent. These smaller stars produce the narrow, opposing jets visible here as they form, which can add a lot of energy and momentum to the clouds. As a result, less nebula material is used to create new stars. We anticipate that Webb will shed light on puzzles within our solar system, reach out to distant planets revolving around other stars, and delve into the enigmatic composition and genesis of the cosmos and our place within it. We will bring more updates about our universe if you think we have provided some valuable information, please like our video. 
Also, do not forget to subscribe for astronomy, cosmology and science updates. You can also watch our another video showing above. It is about our universe might be created in a lab. Please subscribe now, we will bring out more research for you. Thank you and take care.